Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kana and this is Jar of Fireflies, where you'll find content all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. Okay, all the neighborhood dogs are barking now over something, so we're gonna go back inside and get our day going. We're headed out today to get the kids some haircuts and maybe head up a nature preserve. We might go visit my mom. I might go do a little shopping. I don't know, there's kind of like a whole bunch of options today as far as plans are going, but what we actually do remains to be seen. <sighs> okay, so we are driving now. We're headed off towards, we're actually headed towards my mom's house because the place we're getting our hair cut, it's in a private home just a couple doors down from my mom. So that is terribly convenient. She'll be able to watch the boys while I take my daughter to get her hair cut. I was hoping to get both of my older kids hair cut today, but my son, he didn't want to, so I'm not gonna make him. And yeah, so he'll just, the boys will play at my mom's house and I'll get my daughter's haircut. So yeah, fun times. I should probably get my haircut someday. Now that y'all would see that. <laughs> All right, Nate, you want to give me your backpack and I'll put your stuff in it? Okay, but be careful. Okay. okay. Tabs are going to be in your front pocket. Okay. And your other stuff. Everywhere we go, my son has to bring a whole bunch of stuff because of his type 1 diabetes. So he often brings a backpack around just in case he goes somewhere where I'm not. I generally carry everything for him. So really the only things that he has to carry would be his phone and even then only sometimes. But for this trip, since I won't even be in the same building as him, he has to bring everything with him. So I'm telling him where I'm putting everything inside of his backpack, you know, his phone, his PDM, some snacks, sugar, all his medication and his emergency supplies, all that stuff so that he's going to be able to get what he needs or so that at least I know so that I can tell my mom if I'm calling over there because I see something on my phone that there's an emergency. The technology these days is absolutely amazing. He wears a device on his arm that reads his blood sugar and it sends it to his phone so that we can read what his blood sugar is every five minutes. And it also sends that information to my cell phone. So no matter where I am, I also have that information. So I can call him from anywhere and tell him that he needs insulin or sugar or anything like that. Super duper handy. Okay, we are here. Gonna get the boys in to my mom's and then we'll go get our hair cut. Okay, the boys have been dropped off with my mom now. That is super fun. And now my daughter and I are walking two doors down to get her hair cut. This is my daughter's first haircut, so kind of a big deal. She has incredibly curly, gorgeous long hair, but it's just a little bit wild, and so we just wanted to get a trim just to kind of clean everything up a little bit. I was incredibly thrilled at the results. And then we went over to my mom's house and we played in the backyard for just a little bit before heading out on our next adventure. Okay, we've left my mom's house and now we're headed out to the Heard Museum to see this new butterfly exhibit that they have. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. The Heard Museum is quickly becoming one of our new favorite places. It's much closer to get to than the zoo, but it still has tons to explore and lots of learning, so it's kind of a win for everyone. There were signs at the front reminding us to keep a social distance of six feet, and then there was another sign at the front telling us how to check in before we enter the building, so we did that. And then we found ourselves a picnic table for a little break. All right, so we're here. We just stopped to have lunch, which was really more like snacks. We'll have a big meal when we get home. We're not planning to be here that long. I just kind of wanted to get everybody outdoors again today. So we're gonna go on a little hike and hopefully see the butterflies. It's a lot more crowded here than I had anticipated. I mean, I guess like it is summer now, the kids are all out of school and all that sort of thing. But yeah, a little more crowded than I thought, but that's okay. So we'll see what we end up doing, but for sure we'll go on a little hike. 
Next to the picnic table area was this huge sandbox area, and I don't actually recall that my kids have ever played in here. I could be completely wrong on that one, but they had a blast getting in there and playing in the sand. They found a, a paintbrush, so yeah, they dug, they had fun looking for fossils. Okay, so we finished up lunch, and we're gonna head off now on the Hoot Owl Trail. It's just a short little trail. We've been on it before, but I know it's just like a nice, easy, trail that the kids that I can do. It's not too long or anything like that. The breeze is great. It's still breezy today, but it's a lot cooler. I think a cool front must have, cool front, cold front, a cold front must have come through last night because it's just a lot cooler in general today. So a great day to come out here to the herd. This trail is a nice short trail, so I knew it'd be real easy for the kids just to get in a little hike while we were here. This is a nature preserve, so there were plenty of signs at the beginning of the trail cautioning us for poison ivy and snakes and other such little critters. But we stay on the trail, we don't venture off. Again, it's a nature preserve, we want to respect the nature here, so we did perfectly fine avoiding any kind of critters. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more people here than I would have thought. Uh, normally we don't see anybody when we hike on these trails. We just kind of have the place to ourselves. And we've seen several groups of people that have passed us or that are nearby us on the trail. So, I don't know so much for my outdoor social distancing activity. <laughs> I don't know. It's so hard to figure this stuff out. Like how do you even decide what's the best thing to do right now? The pandemic's obviously changed a lot of our decisions that we've made as far as activities go. Like with my daughter's haircut, I had planned on taking her to a salon that a friend of mine recommended for curly hair. But you know, we went to my friend, my mom's neighbor instead, because I felt like that was a safer option to go into her home, just us. You know, we've always been really outdoorsy people. We love our outdoor activities, but we're 100% choosing a lot more outdoor activities right now than we normally would, especially now that it's summer, we would have started choosing some of the more fun indoor activities that are available around us. But here we are hiking a trail, though it's super gorgeous today. Can't complain at all. The entire trail was in the shade, so it was nice and cool throughout. I feel like the last time we were on this trail, we got lost and it took us so much longer than I thought, but the trail is really well marked. So I don't know what was going on last time we did this one. I didn't time how long the trail took for us to hike and I don't know exactly how long it is miles wise, probably about a mile, but it turned out to be a really perfect distance for us. My older two didn't complain one bit about being tired and my youngest only needed to be held a little bit. So it was a really good distance for us. Okay, we finished our hike. We stopped, we had a little snack and now we're headed down. They've got like a little wooden village for the kids to play in. So I'm gonna let them do that for a little bit because it is pretty much empty. There's just like maybe two other kids there and I just told my kids to keep a little distance. So we'll see how this goes. My kids really adore playing in this little village, which just brings me back to my childhood where I also enjoyed playing in little outdoor villages like this. They all claim their own house. Here's my daughter giving us a little tour and they just played and had fun and kind of just did their own thing. The other kids were not an issue at all. Okay, we finished playing over in the little village. The kids had a blast. And now we're gonna check out the animals over here and see about this whole butterfly exhibit thing. Yeah, butterflies. We only saw a couple animals out today, but it was pretty hot, so I don't blame them one bit for staying in the shade or resting during the day. And then we went to see the butterfly exhibit. It was basically a long kind of tunnel that was filled with plants that attracted butterflies and then there were butterflies flying around inside. It was really, really pretty. We all enjoyed it. There was also a lot of information about butterflies and their life cycle available there as posters on the walls and there was a box filled with butterfly cocoons waiting to hatch. So that was pretty fun to look at as well. 
The butterfly garden was so cool. There weren't like a ton of butterflies. It wasn't like we've been to this butterfly thing once at the mall where it was just filled with butterflies and they gave you little sticks with like sugar water on them and butterflies would come and land all over you. So it wasn't like that, but it had all these butterfly plants in there, you know, plants that butterflies love. And I was happy to see some flowers that I have in my yard out there. So hopefully we'll get some butterflies at our house too. So yeah, that was neat. All right, that is a wrap. We are going to head home now figure out what to do for dinner and I don't know what else I have laundry I've been putting off laundry way too long all right come on guys let's go let's go come on so it's definitely a lot less crowded now here towards the end of the day so I guess next time we come we need to come when it's really hot late in the afternoon but I'm willing to do this to avoid people all right let's get home so to be completely honest here, I would come late in the afternoon in the heat of the day just to avoid people even before the pandemic. But now that there's a pandemic, even more so. On the drive home, I put a podcast on for the kids. We love storytelling podcasts. Our current favorite is the Purple Rocket podcast, and that's what we were listening to today. We also really enjoy Sparkle Stories as well, both really fantastic options if you're looking for something fun for your kids to listen to in the car. But I, as an adult, don't mind them either. All right, so we have made it back home. I've gotten the kids some snacks, and they're all kind of chilling right now, so I can start kind of thinking about dinner and doing a little housework. Yay! Okay, so I generally like to wake up to a clean house. Didn't happen today, but I have to tell you, something about cleaning the house at the end of the day is very satisfying also. The kids were all tired and relaxing with a video, so that was completely fine, and I was able to work fairly uninterrupted as far as cleaning, so it all happened pretty quickly. I gotta admit, while we were sitting at the Herd Museum this afternoon, in particular while my kids were playing at the Wood Village, I started to get really stressed out about the amount of cleaning and stuff that I had left to do at the house because I really didn't want to put it off another day or anything like that. So it just started to like weigh on me and stress me out and I was kind of like, okay, let's hurry up and go. <laughs> I mean, we still stayed quite a bit longer and enjoyed ourselves, but yeah, you know. We are a family of five, so just the sheer amount of laundry and dishes can get really out of hand really fast. So I really do try to stay on top of this stuff every single day. So anyways, I got the dishwasher all emptied and then reloaded with the dirty dishes. And then I could start on hand washing just the couple of things that I had. Basically, it was like some spoons that we used for coffee and a wine glass. So yes all the important things. I don't typically enjoy hand washing dishes that much, but when it's just a couple of things like this, I don't really mind because then it's just like this very satisfying, look, the sink is completely clean and that'll last for, you know, five minutes, right? <laughs> And then it was on to laundry. I can't even tell you how many loads of laundry are piled up on my floor or how long I have put off doing this, but it needed to get done. So, oh, fun, 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 fun. That dress and that dress. Yes, me and my daughter have matching dresses. We are those people. I really love it. She wants more. I'm going to try to sew us some matching dresses. And if I can find some good deals on some other matching dresses, I will get them. But anyways, yeah, doing laundry right now. Just kind of putting all that stuff away. I cannot remember the last time that I put away laundry before this. I just really kept piling it up and we were just grabbing clothes out of the pile instead of out of the closet. So yeah but it was really nice to get it done i really don't like having this room so messy and that giant pile of laundry just makes it feel so messy to me so it was really great to get all of this done that ottoman in the corner is seriously like my laundry ottoman the chair that goes with that is in the living room but i don't really like ottomans that much but i didn't really know how to get rid of it so i just put it in the corner of my room and it has become the laundry ottoman it's really nice i don't have to lean over on the floor to get all the laundry it makes it easier for me for sure so i'm going to be getting rid of that chair when we redo our house eventually whenever that is and 
I don't know what I'm going to do with this corner. Like if I'm going to get rid of the ottoman also and then put my laundry on the floor or if I'll get something else to replace that in this area. I don't know. Do you guys have any suggestions? What do you do? Do you guys, I mean, who folds laundry in their laundry room? I don't know. Maybe you guys do. Let me know. Where do you fold your laundry? I do it all right here. Okay, so I've got some chicken boiling on the stove, but I really don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to be Googling, trying to find some kind of a recipe to do with the shredded chicken. I'm just in the mood for shredded chicken tonight. I don't really know why, but, and I have chicken that has to be cooked today or it's not gonna be any good anymore. So that's boiling on the stove so I can shred it, but then like, then what? Shredded chicken nachos look really good, but um, can't do cheese and chicken. We don't mix the dairy and the meat. Yeah, almost like every single one of these recipes involves dairy. Absolutely none of these are appealing. Okay, I think I'm just gonna be boring. I can't really find anything that looks good. So I think I'm just gonna do some kind of like a gravy. I've got some gravy mix the kids like, so that'll be super easy. And maybe I'll make like a rice side for that. And that's, that's enough, right? <laughs> maybe a vegetable. I'll put some kind of vegetable on the plate. Corn, everybody likes corn in this house. Okay, we have a meal. I'm gonna go work on that. Okay, so while I was getting dinner ready with all the other ingredients that I had come up with there, I remembered that I had celery in the refrigerator. My kids love ants on a log, that whole like snack with the celery and the peanut butter and the raisins on top. So I decided to do that for our side vegetable because celery is totally a legit vegetable. Also, because I know how much my kids enjoy this snack, I figured I wouldn't get any arguments and boy was I correct. They were so excited and cheering for this and like, when's dinner, when's dinner? We want ants on a log. Yeah, they ate chicken and rice too, but they were super stoked to get the ants on a log. While the rice finished cooking, I grabbed the chicken out of the pot because it was finished and began shredding that. And then I was ready to serve up plates for the kids. I always ask everybody what they want before I put it on their plate, and I was pretty excited that everybody wanted everything. I mean, not everybody wanted gravy, but that's okay, but everybody wanted chicken and rice and ants on a log, and everybody ate chicken and rice and ants on the log. I will have to make this dinner again, for sure. So simple, so plain, and quite frankly, a little boring, but hey, if everybody's gonna eat it, what do I care? After I finished getting all the kids their food the way that they wanted it and they were settled down and eating, I went ahead and grabbed a plate so that I could get my own dinner ready. Okay, and that's a wrap. Dinner is done. It was a big hit. Super stoked about that. But we're just gonna wind down now. It's about seven o'clock. So we're going to watch a movie together this evening and then go to bed. So as always, thank you guys so, so very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to click that bell if you haven't already. So thank you guys again. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.